So today it was just an insane day. Like I was flipping out so badly because I as um what was I saying? Yeah. So you know how like people who oh, I can't even get my thoughts straight. The prom is coming up. Um, for my school, it's around May 20th, May 27th for a uh, junior prom and senior prom, right? And a lot of schools are that, and I really wanted to put up a makeup tutorial for prom. Oh my god. People who do makeup on YouTube, they know how hard it is to, you know, set your camera straight, um, you know, just be able to film it. And for me, I have a nice camera. Um, it's you know, it's high quality, it's nice pixels or something, whatever you call it. But it's just like, it doesn't have autofocus. So it's hard for me to show you something up close while I'm trying to show you something else. Because once you click that button to start recording, it's just like, you focus on the thing that it sees. And like, when you try to show something else, you just, it just gets out of focus and you can't see anything. So, you know, I had to start all over and just like, re record what I was going to record, you know? So... That just pisses me off, and for me, my camera isn't the kind that you can flip something over and see what you're recording. Mine's is just straight up like that, and I need a mirror in the back, so my setup is horrible, and my room isn't like the best room, so it doesn't have like, you know, natural sunlight in, and my natural sunlight is right there. So it's just it's hard to find something. It's just so irritating. And oh. Uh, so upset like I was crying well I wasn't crying but you know what I mean I was just so upset and then like I talked to my boyfriend about it and I was just like complaining the whole time and I was just like honey I'm so upset about this like I can't I'm trying to get that tutorial up because I haven't put up a tutorial for so long and I just wanted to you know put one up and it's just so hard to record like that like I love showing you guys how to do this makeup look but it's just the whole recording process, the whole editing process that just makes me not want to do it and haters. But besides that. But I just I just don't want to do it after all that. So, you know, it's like Ugh So I really wanted to record something today. So I decided to do, you know, the one of those tags that I have seen going around. I don't even know what it's called. I saw Beauty Crush do. And I'll link her YouTube right here. She's so cute. She's so pretty. She's amazing. Like, you just have to watch her. Like, you don't have to watch me. You have to watch her. She's just amazing. And I um, saw her do this tag, and I was kind of interested in it because, you know, I really like fashion and stuff. First question How do you describe your style? Like, I don't really have a specific style. Like, I don't, like, a lot of people know me as girly, but like, I'm not like super, I'm not always girly, you know, I, I have different types of styles, like I like to be kind of like edgy with like a leather jacket or like rocker, I like to be kind of boho bohemian, so I don't, I can't really lay it down like what my specific style is, it's just, I go for anything, anything that catches my eye, anything that I like, I go for it, because I'm very versatile, I don't just like to stick with one thing, like today I look kind of girly because I have this full dress on, but like, other days, every day just changes, like I'm, I just don't stick to one, like are right, you, your wardrobe staples, wardrobe staples, I think I'm trying to say wardrobe statement, what is your wardrobe statement, I have to have cardigans, I have to have scarves, I have skinny, shoes count in this section, I just, the flat. Question number three is most expensive item in your closet. See, the thing is that I I like to call myself a smart shopper. <laughs> um, I don't really like to spend much money on clothing. Like, like when I was little, like before I had like a lot of money. Well, before like I worked and stuff. Like I just used to spend just ten dollars on um any clothes. Like it cannot be more than ten dollars. It has to be. Ten dollars or less. That's a great deal. Then, like as I grew up, I started kind of changing it. So the highest I'll ever pay for a shirt is twenty-five dollars. Well, not just any kind of shirt. Like if it's a jacket or something, then the highest would be thirty. Because I had a leather jacket that was like thirty. Well, it was actually thirty something. But 
But the most expensive item, it's not really technically expensive to any of you guys. But for me, it's it's like, I don't know, I think, I think it's one of my dresses that, like, from Forever 21, that was like, um, $45, I assume. I can't really remember from the top of my head, but it's somewhere around there. Our question is the most wanted item. Oh my gosh, I have like a list of items that I want so bad. Doc Martin. I wanted the, um, the black one, the shiny one, the patent, I guess it's called. I really want that. But they're so adorable. Like, I don't want the color them. I just want the plain black one because that's just the cutest thing ever. Favorite designer? Um, I say I really like Alexander McQueen. I like um, Coco Chanel. I think it's all. Yeah, four, five, six. Six question. How much do you spend on clothes? Oh, I kind of said that. Like, it changed. Like, I can't expect that in like other questions, but right now it's at least 35. Unless it's something that I really, really, really want, and I know that you can't find it in like a lower price, or it's like I have to have it right now. I want to see it, I have to have it. I can't wait anymore to like wait for a better deal. Then I just have to get it in the highest that I've ever spent for something like that. Like 40, 40, like 39 something. Like yeah. Okay, then that just changes my whole thought on the most expensive item. Oh, my most expensive item is around 40 bucks then. Yeah. What are your favorite places to shop? Um, I am a bargain girl, so I love places that have, like, really good deals and stuff. So definitely Forever 21, definitely what Steel. Um, I like to shop online, and... Oh, I love H&M, definitely that. And I love this little, uh, online thing called dhgates.com I'll link it below like you can find amazing deals you can find free shipping for a lot of clothes and you can just find the cutest things there for a great price favorite fragrance my favorite fragrance for right now DKNY delicious apple the red one I have that I mean I just love it smell my boyfriend loves that smell um, he just like sniffs me all the time <laughs> that sounds so weird but yeah he likes to sniff me because of that um but so far i've been wearing like bath and body the cotton cotton something i'll just list it right here it's cotton something i just don't know what it's called but it smells so amazing what's your favorite way to do your hair my favorite way to do my hair um i like to do my hair a lot of different ways just because i don't like sticking it away um like today I have like a side bun. Um but one of those things I ever wear is curly. I always curl my hair just because my hair is like up to here only. I like to curl it. Um I'm just waiting for my hair to get longer and when it gets longer I'm definitely doing so much more hairstyles and right now the best way I like to wear it is curled. Not like super duper curled, but like you know nice waves in there. What is your go to outfit when you have no idea what to wear? Um, definitely cardigan. That's my go-to thing. I have to wear cardigans, skitties, um, depending on what season, I wear flats, boots, or gladiators, but for now, since it's like spring, I go for like gladiators, um, like sandals and stuff, and the best thing for me, I really like just wearing like the white beater underneath, or white tank top, um, a collar, cardigan, depending on what kind of thing, what color my scarf is, and I just, you know, I just put a scarf around my neck, and that's my go-to thing, and um, I just like tie my hair up and all this stuff and like it's really simple I just like something simple whenever I don't forever because I usually just sit in my closet and think about what I'm going to wear like, it's just literally like stand in there thinking of what to wear like, I can never think of something I'm just like you get this and I have like a scarf rack so I just pull something off of there and just... one fashion trend you wish you would come back or stay hmm fashion trend that will come back and stay? I don't really know. I guess anything that's vintage, I wish it would stay forever because it's just so pretty, like everything. I don't know, I just like all, like all the fringes and all that stuff. Like I have a lot of that and I just really, really like them. Show us your most prized possession in your wardrobe. I just went into my closet. Oh, I didn't close the door. My bad. Stay right there. I didn't close the door. Anyway, so my most prized possession 
has to be this really pretty vintage dress. Like, I used to go to a Catholic school, so we had uniforms, and we always had, like, circled kind of collars and, like, a dress. And I just felt like when I saw this dress, it's all lacy and stuff, and it has to extend like this long. And I saw this from Forever 21, and this might not be really expensive. This is, like, only $20, but this is most of my most prized possession because it's so pretty it reminds me of back then and I really miss it um now I'm in a public school so I don't really have dress codes but whenever I wear this it just reminds me so much of back then and I just love how vintage this is I just love how this I love the schoolgirl look on this and it's so feminine so girly the lace is beautiful and it's just I'll cry if this ever gets thrown in a trash or anything like I'll still keep this no matter what it's just so pretty and just, oh my gosh, I love it. So that is all um, the questions and I tag anyone that wants to do this. Um, I don't have anyone in specific because I know that they won't see this video. But I really wish Heather123 would do it. I wish they'll say candy. Uh, I'm sorry I don't remember the name, but they'll, they'll say candy. Some 87, I think. I hope I don't put it wrong. Um, yeah, I hope she does it. I hope That's Heart does it. Um, yeah, I don't know if they're going to see this video. I hope they do. <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.